Let's start this episode off. Does anybody actually like pennies? <laughs> it's like the worst coin to exist ever. Matter of fact, I'm actually scared of pennies. <laughs> You don't think I'm kidding. Let me explain myself. So do you see this chip in my tooth right here? Right on my front tooth? I got that chip 11 years ago. It was dark outside. We were playing hide and seek tag, okay? And I saw one of my friends hiding 50 feet out. And I started running after him. Now, mind you, he's also like 50 feet away because he's running as well. He blindly chucks a penny behind his back at full speed. A penny? <laughs> from 50 feet away and it hits me directly in the tooth and I also caught the penny in my mouth. Now I could have had a cool story about getting my teeth chipped. Yeah, I got in a bar fight at age nine, but no, it's a penny, a penny. Not even the chick from Big Bang Theory, just a penny. So if any of y'all are ever wondering why I have a natural hatred for pennies, that's exactly why. I still can't believe it to this day. A penny! So since I'm moving really soon, I have all of my stuff on my floor. I don't have a chair or anything. This is the most awkward video I've ever recorded. <laughs> Look at my setup. <laughs> <laughs> Me and my girlfriend decided to try something new in bed, right? You know, it's healthy for the relationship. It's organic to try new things. And she picked me up and threw me onto the bed, which, by the way, is very tasteful. <laughs> That's when she breaks out the handcuffs, right? Handcuffs me to the bed frame, she takes out a blindfold. She puts the blindfold around my eyes, you know? I'm blind, I can't move. It's a new experience. And she just hops on top and she goes, do you like that? And I said, well, as you can see, I cannot. <laughs> And now I'm single, so uh, it literally baffles me how I'm in the top 20,000 comedians on YouTube. I mean, seriously, my jokes are so bad. I feel like Amy Schumer. <laughs> now, some of you might be asking what my goal is right here, and I am not sure. So back in my high school days, there were some weird kids at our school. But I'm sorry, your weirdest story does not top my weirdest story. So once upon a time, I was walking to gym class. I was looking pretty spicy for a 17-year-old in some short shorts. I don't know what just came out of my mouth right there. <laughs> but anyways, everyone was going through the main entrance to the gym. And I took the back road because I wanted to go vape. There was a little spot by these vending machines that I used to go to. And I went back there. Right before I turned the corner, I heard something really funky. And I peeked around the corner. And I, I wish I was kidding. There was a freshman just ferociously beating his dick and immediately two thoughts went into my head the first one was wow thanks for ruining my day and the second one was wow thanks for enlightening my day <laughs> and I, I just want to know why he was going so fast did he like recently look at pictures of megan fox from the early 2010s like what was the occasion but i went back there at the end of gym class and i looked on the side of the vending machine is there actually a stain on the side of the vending machine the more i think about it our school was really whack <laughs> All right, come on, chickens. I'm, I'm bringing you back to my place. I'm gonna force you to mate. Do you have a choice? No. I just got a really funny idea. So I'm gonna take a picture of my dick. Completely flash it, mind you. <laughs> and I'm gonna send it to my girlfriend. But first, I'm gonna caption it streaks. <laughs> and now we wait. <laughs> Oh, guys, I didn't even think about this. What if I get a dick pic back? Oh, guys, I got the picture. Oh, I, I can't. <laughs> So about a year ago, I got pulled over for the first time. And this specific night, I was in a hurry to get back. I had some beers in the fridge. So I was going 77 in a 50. <laughs> Now, at the time, I was with my buddy Brandon, and I thought that it was funny that we were getting pulled over. I was in a good mood. So I started blasting the cop's theme song, like the bad boy's theme song, right? And the cop comes up to the window, and he asked why I was speeding. And my excuse was so lame, I just wanted to get out of there. I said, quote-unquote, I don't know. I have to let my dog out. And he looked at me dumbfounded. He's like, you couldn't even come up with a better excuse than that? <laughs> Like, really? But he takes my license and my insurance information and then he walks away. So I turned the bad boy song back up, right? Now I had this song on replay. He came back about five minutes later and I completely forgot that I was playing it. So I didn't turn it down. He walks up to the window and he says, Ian, I've decided to give you a warning. And then he realized what music was playing. Then he wrote me a ticket. <laughs> So that might be the most money I've ever spent on a joke. $175. Yep. <laughs> so a year ago, my best friend's cousin decided to get married. That was mistake number one. <laughs> mistake number two is that he asked me to be a groomsman. An even bigger mistake. Now this is my first wedding that I had actually been a part of. And I was completely unaware of the fact that I had to dance. I am the furthest thing from a dancer. Let me tell you something. So when they said, hey Ian, you should come to the rehearsal. Maybe I should have listened to that, huh? <laughs> So I showed up to the wedding the very next day, all suited up, looking fancy. And before we start taking pictures, we all start taking some shots outside. So I get a pretty good buzz going, and then this girl, random girl, just walks up to me. And she goes, hi, Ian. And I said, why do you know my name? <laughs> and she said, well, I'm going to be dancing with you in about two hours. May I remind you, 
I don't dance. So we hop in the limousine and we go to the church where he's actually getting married. And I'm taking shots the whole way there. I gotta loosen up. We get to the church and I'm already drunk. And they're saying each other's vows and I'm sitting there trying not to laugh. You can see the look in my face. We get done, hop back in the limousine. We head back to the place where we have dinner and dance and all that stuff. And I'm taking even more shots. You remember the part where I said I missed the rehearsal, right? <laughs> so now I'm drunk, don't know how to dance, and have only met my dancing partner for two minutes. And we've got to come up with something on the spot. And she just goes, Ian, just follow my lead when we get out there, okay? I'm like, okay. So we walk out into this dining area, and there is, I shit you not, 150 people. And let me tell you something. I didn't care. I was about to dance. I start following her moves, and let me tell you something. Every single thing that she was doing, I was doing it. Uh, <laughs> I was doing the exact opposite of. <laughs> just look at this mess. <laughs> And the best part is my best friend's cousin, he's a white guy, and then the girl that he was marrying was an African. I just wasn't used to their customs. After me and this girl got done dancing, horribly dancing, mind you, every single one of them in the room started going or something along the lines of that, <laughs> which is like a celebration, but I wasn't expecting it. And that's the story of how I'm not really afraid of dancing anymore. Okay, how did I actually not notice this earlier? <laughs> I literally just mind read. How did I not see this? I have never seen a stack of nine diamonds before. What? I thought they only came up to eight. How is there nine? Does that mean it's time to freestyle again? <laughs> I'm gonna freestyle about um my non-existent sexual frustrations and that Mario could do so much better than Princess Peach. An interesting combination. Don't move the dome like your last name Carrie. I'm so motherfucking fly like fairy. Yep, I got a wetter than the bottom of a fairy. Brick block hit it three times, nobody caring. Y'all must be some toddlers, I'm really about to pull up. You mistaken if you thought I gave a single fuck. She was disappointed when she saw the pronto pup. She said, How many inches when you're hard? And I said, One up. There's no way Peach didn't cheat on Mario. Bowser kidnapped like that, how far they go. A galaxy away, and he said, Let's go. Mario stop simplifying a better hoe. You could go and fuck around with any toad. Woo! <laughs> uh, oh yeah, swimming. <laughs> I have achieved the diamonds. Which is good because I need to repair my diamond armor. It's getting pretty low. Alright, this is it ladies and gentlemen. We're upgrading. So no head. Titty defender. Chastity belt. The Tims. I think I just wasted all of my levels of experience doing that. <laughs> I was at like 36. <laughs> you guys want to hear a cool story about getting taken advantage of almost? <laughs> so basically, two and a half years ago, I was a young man. I was at a party. I was big chilling in a hot tub. And I was just absolutely slapped at this party, okay? I'm sitting there. I'm having a good time with the boys. I got my vape in my hand. And eventually, a few people get out of the hot tub. And this girl climbs on top of me, okay? Starts making out with me. And my hands were going places that they just shouldn't have gone. Like, under the water with my vape. And we're not talking like a little salt nick machine. This is back in the day when big mods were a thing. This is a $200 mod. So I was a little bit steamed. I get mad. I get out of the hot tub. I walk away and she just feels terrible so she pulls me into my buddy's bedroom now mind you this girl is just white girl wasted i didn't want to do anything and she leans over to whisper in my ear and i shit you not she quote unquote says ian please have my babies man let me tell you something i'm not in the olympics but i definitely could be i ran out of that room so fast i might have done a front flip or two i don't know but i was out of that room and i come back five minutes later and she's crying okay and i said listen you mean to tell me that you just drowned my $200 vape and that you wanted me to knock you up in my best friend's bed? And she goes, yes! And I go, how is that even fucking reasonable? <laughs> Oh, I see you over at my chicken house. This ain't gonna fly. No pun intended, because them chicken are really struggling to get anywhere. Pull up, son. How many you got? So from the experience to all of you youngins out there, if any girl's white girl wasted, say no. I say we go to the nether. Why not? We actually have some stuff we should probably get from there. Ah! So me and my girlfriend went to go get seafood the other day, right? I wanted to try something new. I'm not a huge fan of seafood, but I decided to give it another try, you know? And honestly, it wasn't all that bad. It was a nice romantic night. Then we went back to our place and we hopped in the shower and we started banging, right? And right as I was about to hop out of the shower, I started getting really itchy. I'm like, hey, what did you get for dinner again? And she said walleye. I'm like, oh yeah, okay. And then she asked me what I got and I just said crabs. And then I immediately started shaving. Okay, listen, you are ruining the fun time I was supposed to be having here. Damn it. Ha 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 ha!
<laughs> What's another dad joke I could come up with right now? Hmm. I was hanging out with my dad the other night, right? We were kicking back a few brewskis. Yeah, this one's legitimately a dad joke. What you think about that? <laughs> and he asked me to reach in the fridge and grab a couple of cold bushes. And now, mind you, we've got, like, one of these bar refrigerators. It's absolutely huge. And I open up the door and I see two Eskimos that have not shaved in a very long time. Grabbed him right by the pussy. I pulled a real Donald Trump on that one. Now, I'm not quite sure that's what he meant by that, but, uh... <laughs> it was indeed my best guess as to what he meant by that. I gotta be honest with you, being in the nether is a lot easier when you have full diamond armor. <laughs> <clears throat> so I just got reminded of Christmas from a couple of years back. I used to be an absolute dick around this time. I still am, but not to the same extent. <laughs> and at this point in time, my mom had recently just had her fourth kid. And I had just enough money for a nice little gag gift for my stepdad. So I bought him the big 36 pack of condoms. Cause let's be honest, all of us kids were mistakes. <laughs> and attached to the box was a note handwritten by me that said, quote unquote, you're running kind of low on bedrooms, aren't you? He opens up the gift, he reads the note, and he throws the box of condoms back into my face. Gets up and walks away. <laughs> But anyways, after he left the room, my mom leans in and starts whispering in my ear. And she said, he got snipped this year. Oh, I didn't want to know that. <laughs> but what can I say? My jokes are like people with vasectomies and never see him coming. <laughs> oh, I love family gatherings. I hang with niggas with triggers. Oh my God, I got the...